We have breaking news for you tonight. We have the fuel economy numbers for the new 2025 Ram 1500. Yes, the new Hurricane series of engines in this half-ton truck. I have those numbers for you. And it's interesting. If you're really interested in performance, Hurricane is really exciting. If you're really questioning turbos, well, this video may give you some validation. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Let's get to this. It's on the website, pickuptrucktalk.com. Com. And so I will uh, link to the story below in the comments and in the description. So I'm going to pull this up. My story is the 2025 Ram 1500 mile per gallon, new hurricane wows and disappoints. And we'll get this information. So as I scroll down, I have a whole chart for you on this. So the official numbers are revealed. The hurricane is a vast improvement over the outgoing Hemi engine, except for the high output version for fuel economy. Ooh, little little thing there. These numbers come from fueleconomy.gov. This is the official government EPA kind of website where automakers release fuel economy number, numbers to the EPA. EPA validates them and they publish them. That's how the game works. Journalists like myself are on fueleconomy.gov more than I want to trying to find fuel economy numbers for you guys so you're an informed consumer. As we go down the story, we're going to jump right into it. The carryover 3.6 liter V6, the Pentastar. Continues to be the best for fuel economy. This engine has won numerous awards from Ford's Auto, Best Engine of the Year, and it's been a pretty solid engine for the lineup. Been pretty reliable. Compared to the Hemi and the 2024 models, the standard output 3-liter inline 6 twin turbo Hurricane delivers 420 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. So the Hurricane versus Hemi returns a 2-mile-per-gallon jump in highway and a 1-mile-per-gallon jump in combined numbers. And also keep in mind that Hemi had... 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. Now we're looking at 420, we're looking at 468. So we have more horsepower, more torque, and we get a jump in highway and a jump combined fuel economy. Now you're probably saying, Tim, two, one, who cares about this stuff? That's small potatoes. It's big potatoes for automakers. They spend a lot of time and energy even getting like a, a quarter mile per gallon, even like a half mile per gallon. So this is a big deal for them. And so if you're shopping fuel economy in a truck, which I know people will tell me, I don't shop fuel economy in a truck. I just use it as a truck. And you guys are full of it because I do a fuel economy video and you all watch the heck out of that video. So there are people that really do care about this information as far as improvements in fuel economy. However, the high output hurricane engine standard on the tungsten trim returns worse fuel economy compared to the outgoing 5.7 liter V8 Hemi e-torque engine. E torque engine. I'll get to more details on, on why that's important in a minute. Plus, the new engine, which delivers 510 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque, recommends premium fuel for best performance. That's compared to the Hemi, which required 80 mid grade, like 80, 79, depending on your area. That means you'll pay more per mile to drive the new engine versus the outgoing Hemi, again, that required mid grade fuel. So, not only do you get worse fuel economy, when you get to the pump, you're paying more. Hmm. But you get a substantial improvement in performance and offline speed. I, I drove it. I have the driving uh, the driving impressions videos in this channel. Uh, big improvement. So let's go down to the chart. So the top chart is going to be the 2025 numbers from fueleconomy.gov. We have a high fuel efficiency version of the 3.6 liter V6. We have a couple of V6s and two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. We have the standard output Hurricane and two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. And then I have the I will put a hurricane that's currently only available on four-wheel drive. Okay, so looking at the numbers, we're gonna I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit further. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. I zoomed in for you guys to read this. I'm gonna zoom out for a hot minute, just gonna put the chart on the screen so we can see the full chart. So again, 2025 above below 2024. The Pentastar numbers are the same, which was you'd expect that. There's not many, there's not much changes structurally with the RAM. The numbers down below are interesting. And I'm putting the e-torque in there. And let me get to that, why I put that in there. Looking back, Ram pulled one on me. I didn't even notice this. I don't know if you noticed this too. I looked back at the press release and specifications. 2022 model year, the well, last time they offered a non-hybrid version, hybrid or however you guys are saying it, make fun of me, a version of the Hemi in 2022. I went and built and priced at 2024 on ramtrucks.com. I can only get the e-torque. And that's with that mild hybrid, that, that 48 volt, a system on top of it, on top of the engine. So looking at this information, we have the standard output Hurricane and the two-wheel drive versus the Hemi, right? So we're getting a little bit better highway, a little bit, just a touch better combined, two and one, right? 
I say touch, but it is a big deal. I keep don't downplay that. In the four wheel drive, we see 17, 24, 19. And we see four wheel drive down below 18, 22, 19. The high output is 15, 21, 17. So that's quite a bit of drop. That's three mile per gallon less city. We're looking at one mile per gallon better highway, which is a chin rub moment. Not sure about that one. And two mile per gallon worse combined. So really interesting numbers there. Or excuse me, the other way around. Three mile per gallon less city, one mile per gallon less highway, and two mile per gallon less combined. Chin rub for me being an idiot. Okay, so looking at those differences, we're seeing quite a bit of differences. And again, with that high output of Hurricane, that is a premium fuel recommended. Now, I have the rest of the story. I put on what else is new. I've covered all the changes. I have a lot of first drive information, towing. I've done it all. I've done a lot of stuff. And I actually ordered a Ram 1500 Bighorn for a year-long review. So better mop gallon, as I said in the video, or in the story, was expected with this new standard output Hurricane. New engine, you're expecting a little better fuel economy. Casual fan may say, yeah, one or two mop gallon, who cares? But big improvements in power and fuel economy. And I'm waiting to see what emissions turns out to be. I'm waiting to see what this does in the sticker. If you guys don't know this on a sticker, they have a, a greenhouse gas emission CO2 chart. This is a big deal for automakers because Ram had to kill the Hemi because they could not, they couldn't afford it. They were paying millions in fines to the EPA every year for selling Hemi engines. So they had to get less emissions and they had to improve fuel economy. They kind of go hand in hand in some, some degree. On the flip side, the high output hurricane gets worse for the economy than the outgoing Hemi and you'll pay more at the pump with premium fuel. Now, it remains to be seen what real-world fuel economy is going to be compared to EPA estimates. Speaking of EPA estimates, let's come over here to fueleconomy.gov, and I pulled up some comparisons for you because I was like, well, which one has the most fuel-efficient engine now? Which truck has the, it gets the best fuel economy? So what I did was it's a little bit – you're going to see 25 versus 24. That's because fueleconomy.gov does not have the 25 information for Silverado, Ford, F-150, or the Toyota Tundra. Nissan Titan is dead, as we've, as you may have known. So looking at this, I have the three liter standard output on the first chart. That is 19 combined, 1724. We'll just talk combined numbers. The next one, I have the 5.3 liter V8 from Chevrolet. I figured that was kind of a volume seller. We'll get the 2.7 here in a minute, but I just thought let's do the 5.3. So we have about two difference there combined. So Hurricane is more fuel efficient than the 5.3 liter V8, okay? As it was with the Hemi as well. Looking at the Ford F-150, I have the 3.5 liter six cylinder EcoBoost, right? Ford sells more than half the F-150s with a turbocharged powertrain. So I figured, well, that's their volume seller. Let's go 3.5. And I looked at the Toyota Tundra that only comes in the 3.4. I did not pull the hybrid version up because it wasn't going to be the Apple's Apple comparison, in my opinion. Uh, and the hybrid doesn't get better fuel economy than the standard gas engine either. So looking at those, looking at the Toyota Tundra, it gets about the same fuel economy as the three liter Hurricane does, okay? So about the same, but let's look at the Chevy Silverado. Let's change this vehicle out and let's do the 2.7. That's their Turbo Max engine with the longer powertrain. And, and it's something they get, they're, they're really pushing because again, like Ram, they're paying EPA uh, fines for not meeting CAFE standards. Uh, cafe corporate average fuel economy. So let's go down the 2.7. I think it's great now that fueleconomy.gov has information with sport mode on or sport mode off, which is what I'm assuming those things are. So and that's great because there's different drive modes and now consumers are wondering, do you get better fuel economy with eco? Do you not? I mean, there's a lot of questions with that. So looking at the Chevy Silverado, I pulled up 19, 18, 21. So the hurricane gets better highway, but a little bit less city and about the same combined than the Chevrolet. But let's say, let's say, let's go 2.7 with the Ford. Let's make them all turbos. Let's go turbos, turbos, turbos with the Ford F-150. And we'll pull it up real fast. I'm doing it as fast as I can. You can see how this takes a little while to get going. But so let's do the that one. And the 2.7 actually gets better fuel economy than the Power Boost Hybrid does. So the 2.7 gets 20 combined, which is the best we've seen. 18 city, 23 highway. So pretty close to what the hurricane gets as far as overall fuel economy. Hmm. So there you go. There is the information. I give it you, the viewer, because now it's your turn to comment. And I'm sure this video is going to get some comments because they have new hurricane, more complex, more stuff going on. We have direct injection. We don't have port injection. We have exhaust gases that may build up some carbon buildup. We have a lot of issues going on the channel. I've heard a lot from you guys the last couple of weeks on that. 
We have uh, premium fuel on high output. We have less fuel economy than we expected. We have worse fuel economy and high output. We have emissions still to be worked out, right? So what's what's the what's the big deal here with this? And trying to un unpack why did Ram really have to go this route? And it's because of fines they're paying. They're trying to get that emissions number down. What they're being judged at was a CO2 per mile greenhouse gas emissions. And so can they put that down and not have to pay so big of fines? That's the game. But I, I am curious. What do you guys think? Would you do you like the performance of standard output? Is the fuel economy okay for you? Do you like the bigger performance high output? Is, you don't care about fuel economy? I drive a truck trim. I don't care about fuel economy. Okay, that's a valid reason too. Put your comments down below. I'll be curious. Again, I'll put the link to this story so you can see the chart as well on the in the description and in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.